Equations x minus 2y plus 3z. 3x plus y two equals to 0. Okay, show that the acute angle between PM. First question is easy. Okay, so we just look at, uh, right? Very quickly, remember I told you that the most convenient form of a, of a equation of a plane is what? In which form? The? Oh, you are showing me all the wrong answers. Huh? It's a scalar product form. Vector product, your head. Vector product. Scalar product form, why? Because we can see the normal vector. And the normal vector is the, often the key element for all things. Just like every, every, every top, there's some friends that you must have. The normal vector is a good friend you must have. Or com a complex number, you have your argument modulus. Those two are most important friends. Okay. So, plane one can be written. It's probably wrong. This is your plane one. Plane two. Alright. Ayo, oh, why am I doing this? Okay. Plane two. Okay, so with that, right? What is next? We want to find the acute angle? What do we use? Cosine or sine? Cosine. Do you use sine? No. Let me ask uh, Sim. Yes. <laughs> Cosine or sine? Yeah. Cosine or sine? <laughs> Very good. So, what? Okay, I'm so very quickly. It's just the cosine between the two normals. Okay? Stop it. Who's that? Okay? And after that, you will get half. Therefore, the cosine inverse half, theta will be equal to 60 degrees. That's all, huh? okay, huh? so show that it's 60 degrees. Okay, huh? Ready, huh? Okay, part one, right? Okay, part two. Anybody don't know how to do part two? One, two, or don't know, or never do, or don't know, okay, good. Okay, good. I'll go slow, I'll go slow. Okay. okay. Verify that the point P with coordinates 7, 2, negative 1 lies on P1. Okay, so your P1, remember, is of the form R dot 1, negative 2, 3 equals to 0. So all you need to do is you just substitute your 7, 2, negative 1 inside. Okay? So left-hand side, your left-hand side equals to 7, 2, negative 1, dot product with 1, negative 2, 3, and you actually obtain 0. So it's equals to the right-hand side. Okay? Since your point P <coughs> satisfies the equation of plane 1, therefore, it lies on plane 1 because it satisfies the equation. Okay? Satisfies meaning you sub it in, it takes the form of the equation. It can take the form without affecting the equality. That's for the first part. Second part, find the perpendicular distance from P to plane 2. So this is your plane 2. Okay, and then this is your plane 2. Uh, P dot, P plane 2 is all. Okay, uh, from here, one thing you can see, okay, so, so if you observe, right, what does this tell you, anyone? Okay, let me ask. Yeah. Pong Noon? Original. <laughs> Crispy original. Upsize. Ah. You think I can see? Ah? <laughs> the, <counting record>. huh? <laughs> the origin lies on the plane, ah, understand? Okay, so you have heard this before in the lecture. In the scalar product form, if it's the right hand side, A dot N is 0, it means the origin lies on the plane. Huh? Okay, so 0 lies on the plane. We can say the origin lies on the plane. What else? P is here. So P is uh, probably, let's say you have point P. That means, let's say this is your P, right? P is somewhere here, right? So it's point P. P is the point uh, 3, eh, sorry, 7, 2, negative 1. Okay? 7, 2, negative 1. After that, what do I do? Find the perpendicular distance from point P to, I need to find this, right? I need to find this, right? So let's look at the dotted line. 
Is there any direction vector that we can find along the dotted line? Normal, right? Normal? Normal? Yes? Correct. So we can say the normal. What's the normal? 3, 1, 2, right? Correct? Correct? Oh. So what can we do now? We have this case. So OP, what's OP? This direction vector, I can also say that it's just... Uh, where's OP? Yeah? OP is... Oh, sorry. 7, 2, negative 1. Correct? Now, I have 2. What can I do now? If I want to find this length. This is the formula. What part of the formula? A cross B hat. A, A, A cross B hat. A cross, A cross B, I'll be finding this. Uh, now I want to find this. A dot B hat. Very good. Okay, so let me ask you. Okay, so now, right? Okay, guys, guys, listen. Uh, it's, like a bit, it's a bit confusing. So I, I stop. Okay. For example, your two vectors. This is A, O, B. Alright? So here, I use this, right? Then uh, this vector here. Okay, this one is B tilde. This three vectors, A tilde. Okay? The length, this length, right, is just A Top product with B hat, right? Correct? Okay, can I say this? Can I say that I do not want both vectors to point outwards? Okay, I, I want to try. Can my can I use this instead? Instead of pointing outwards, follow me, uh, follow me, follow me. This is scenario A O. I want to use negative A. And here, I want to use uh, maybe negative B. Okay. Okay, uh, and then I say this direction vector. Same, same, same question. Uh, same question. Scenario one, scenario two. Same question. Follow me, please. Follow me. This. Can I say this? That uh, uh, can I use this? So called like that. Will you give me the same answer? Yes, right? Because negative, negative is just uh, positive. Because these two actually cancel out. So. My question to you is this, when I'm doing, yes. Ah, I'm trying to find this one. I'm trying to find this one. This one, this one, I'm trying to find this one. Ah, okay, ah. Uh. Oh, the daughter is so right, I got to try it, ah. Actually, Mr. Tan, if you want it, right, like, actually, in that negative... Uh, doesn't, ah, uh, yes, 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 doesn't matter. Uh. So, actually, like, I, I, I'm getting to that, getting to that. Uh, okay, ah. Uh. So, you can see this one, it really doesn't matter, right? How about scenario three? Okay, look here, ah. Uh. Scenario three. This is a uh, B. This one is A. Now I use uh, negative A. I use positive B. Then my vector here. The, I want to find the length. Uh, not the vector. I want to find the length. The length here now becomes negative A dot product with B hat. Will you give me the same answer? Because I'm doing mod. Can I say this? You see, son, can you see? Ah, so my question, so I hope, hope you understand. So my question to you is now I do this, right? A, O, example B. Does it matter where, if I'm finding the length, right? Does it matter where, what's the direction? Ah, doesn't matter. The direction doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Can I? I think you all are strong, so I want to talk about this with you. Some, some weaker students, which I don't even say, I just get confused. Okay. So I think okay. So it actually, these two right. If I'm finding the length, if I'm finding the length, uh, the magnitude of a dot b hat, it doesn't matter the direction. Okay. Coming back to our question. Okay. Now this is one vector. This is one vector. I want to find this length. What do I do? I just take. Okay, I just take OP, uh, OP dot product with the unit vector of the, no the normal. Okay, it's just a 3, 1, 2. Okay, 
modulus over its own uh, magnitude. Okay, so called that will give me the let's say I call this d right. This will give me the distance. Are you lost? Lost already. You don't know what. <laughs> okay, one more time. One more time. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to talk about it. Okay. So modulus over its own magnitude. This is the plane. This is O. Uh, this is P. Okay. Doesn't turn. Ah, okay. Here, okay, this is O. This is P. Okay. This one is O, this is P. Now, this direction vector here. Okay, listen, listen. I'm trying to find this, right? I'm trying to find this. Okay, so imagine I, now I shine the light here. I shine the light here. Okay, now I shine the light here. This part will be the projection of o, P O. Let's say this one, the direction vector is D. Uh. Oh, sorry, N. This one is N, uh. okay? On to N, right? The yellow portion. Can I say? Projection vector. Okay, so what is OP? OP, right? OP is. 7, 2, negative 1. Okay? N, right? In this case, there's a vector. The vector is 3, 1, 2. 3, 1, 2. Okay? So this vector here is a 3, 1, 2. Now I'm trying to find the yellow portion. Okay? So it is nothing but I just rotate. That's all. Huh? Okay, so it's nothing but now I'm trying to find yellow portion. Uh. So if I shine a light, right? Can I see now? If I shine a light on this vector, the shadow is casted here. Okay, so this length here is nothing but seven two negative one dot product with b hat. Okay, b hat which is three one two over square root three square plus one square plus two square. Okay, and I'm modulus, that's all. That will give me the distance. Okay, ma, children. Wow. Can we, can we finish part two? That's for the first part. Okay, so this answer should give you uh, 3 square root 14 over 2 units. Okay? I don't know whether I can rotate. I don't rotate. Can I rotate? Okay, so this one can I rotate. But you imagine this one if I rotate sideways. Okay, sideways. 